Hello and welcome to my Nightmare Difficulty Farming Guide. Patch 9 brought us a new difficulty mode, Nightmare. Killing Nightmare Dragons can grant you one of the new level 26 Hakon weapons, which are the new god tier weapons to have. Since Nightmare is very difficult, here's a basic guide so you can start planting your crops and begin farming this level. Nightmares are basically a souped up version of Perilous, with enemies having very high health and defence and hitting much harder than they do in the lower difficulties. In the lower difficulties, enemies' resistances reduce incoming elemental damage by 50%. In Nightmare, all elemental damage to resistant enemies, for example dealing fire damage to a rage demon, will deal 1 damage, regardless of how high the damage would be in, in normal circumstances. Guard also scales with health, and since enemies now have a, have a huge health pool, their guard is equally tough. Barriers are also tougher to cut through, since there's an increased number of spellbinders and mages on the field, and they appear more often. And lastly, the biggest change of all. The faction enemies have been shuffled around. Elite enemies such as shadows, despair demons, mages, fear demons, and knights appear in more zones with increased numbers. So, now you know what's new, let's get into how to most effectively complete this fuckfest of a difficulty. Firstly, the map should be always set to Ferelden Castle versus the Frost Dragon. With a good team, the Frost Dragon can be taken out significantly faster than any other dragon, so that's why I recommend selecting this map. One thing I like about Nightmare is that it requires a very strong level of team player to succeed to it. You can't just Rambo it up like you could in Perilous, because you'll get your ass handed to you, simply put. You need a variety of classes which will all perform a specific role. I'll make some recommendations based on my experiences, and I'll list some key abilities that you will need to take with those classes as well. The class roles which I recommend you take are as follows. A tank, a guard smasher, dispeller, a DPS machine, a barrier bitch, and lastly, a controller. Fortunately, some classes in the game can take on more than one of these roles each, and I'll list the ones that I find that are best suited for Nightmare. First, the Reaver. Her roles is a DPS machine and the Guard Smasher. My build for her is Rampage, Dragon Rage, Warhorn, and Combat Roll. The Rampage Dragon Rage combo is pretty self explanatory, it's there for DPS and self healing. Warhorn is also great on the Reaver due to the automatic crits that it will enable and the upgrade which deals a huge 1200% damage to guard. This can translate into dealing upwards of 25,000 damage to guard in some cases, depending on your weapon of course, which is powerful enough to take out a perilous dragon's guard in one use. Lastly, Combat Roll. Nightmare is a stagger fest, and Combat Roll upgraded allows you to recover from incapacitation. There isn't much more to say on this, it's just that simple. Next on our list is Zither. His roles are Barrier Caster and Dispeller, with a secondary DPS role via Power Cord. Contrary to my previous Zither build video, I recommend against using Cool Beats. It just doesn't deal enough damage to be worthwhile in this difficulty, and it eats up precious mana which can be used for Barrier or Power Cord. Barrier being the obvious choice for team defence, and Power Coid being a great dispeller and heavy hitting Eldritch Detonator. When you get to the Dragon Fight, Battle of the Bands and Hot Licks are your go-to skills, with Barrier being useful when Dragonlings turn up to slap you around. The Legionnaire is our next kit, his primary roles being a tank and a guard smasher, with a secondary role as a controller. Again my Legionnaire, Legionnaire spec is different from my normal build. I used To the Death, Shield Bash, Payback Strike, and Walking Fortress. Between To the Death and Walking Fortress, you can generate enough guards to keep you alive, even against multiple heavy enemies, so these skills should be used as often as possible. Shield Bash and Payback Strike are cycled as often as possible for knocking down enemies, combating guard, and recovering from incapacitation. Next, the Arcane Warrior. The Arcane Warrior is an obvious choice for Nightmare, and he can feel three roles. Tank, Dispeller, and a Controller. My build is Dispel, Chain Lightning, Stone Fist, and Fade Cloak. Chain Lightning followed by a Stone Fist will put multiple enemies to sleep. Fade Cloak is great for recovering from incapacitation, and Dispel is great for, well, dispelling barriers and status effects. Lastly, the Elementalist. He is a controller with a secondary DPS and barrier casting roles. 
My spec is Fire Mine, Fire Storm, Wall of Fire, and Barrier. Chaotic Focus Fire Mines hit like a freight train and provide a knockdown. Wall of Fire panics multiple enemies. Firestorm knocks down enemies in an area of effect, and Barrier, well, barriers yourself and your teammates. You'll want to keep Firestorm and Wall of Fire up as much as possible, with Fire Mines being placed immediately after using Barrier. Remember, you're primarily a crowd controller. Team members shouldn't really expect you to be topping up their barriers, though you should aim to do this when you can as well. Any combination of these five kits will more than likely grant you success. However, if you'd like to use other kits, then the following builds work really well in Nightmare 2, though they do require a few more promotions or better gear to succeed. Isabella, DPS with high survivability roll. My build is Ambush, Broadsides, Bolt and Flashing Steel. The Avar, DPS, Guard Smasher and a Crowd Controller. My build is Warhorn, Coarse Might, Ladies Wrath and Crushing Leap. The Keeper, Barrier Caster and Crowd Controller. Build is Barrier, Dispel, Static Cage and Phase Step. Archer is a DPS machine with secondary crowd control. My build is Leaping Shot, Long Shot, Mark of Death and Knockout Bomb. And that's more or less it for my Nightmare Guide. Remember though, above all, team play will get you the furthest. Work together, play your roles well and don't try and be a solo god, because you'll soon get smacked down to earth. If anybody on PC would like to play Nightmare with me, then my origin ID will be in the description along with all the builds that I've mentioned. Thanks for watching, goodbye.